Hello children welcome to another session of geography class 8 chapter migration and before we commence let us have a quick recap of what we have studied in our previous session in our previous session we had studied about internal migration and internal migration it was where people within a country moving to one another location within its borders an internal migration was can could be classified into rural to rural rural to urban urban to urban and urban to rural under rural to rural where due to marriage or seasonality of work the laborers or the villagers were moving from one rural area to the other and next was the rural to urban where we found that the people there were push and the pull factors which were playing their role and because due to uh, low uncertain wages and economic land holdings poor facilities for education recreation etc these were the push factors and because of which the people were leaving their rural area and there were some uh, pull factors in the urban areas to which they were getting attracted and they were getting pulled by these things like better employment opportunities regular higher wages fixed working hours better amenities of living facilities for education and other socio cultural activities next we had studied about urban to urban under which from one small town people are migrating to the larger cities or it may be the larger towns and from there for some conditions they are coming and residing in the small towns so that was urban to urban and urban to rural it was characterized because of urbanization and and urban centers were characterized by over congestions haphazard growth high cost of living heavy pressure on public utility services unemployment and for which people were leaving the urban regions and going and residing in the rural areas so this is what we had studied apart from that we had also studied the causes for migration and we found that the economic causes were was one of the most important causes for migration and apart from the economic factors there was marriage also which was taking place amongst the girls where they were migrating because of which they were migrating to some other city or town or village then education was also an important uh, factor for migration and people for uh, the uh, students were leaving for higher education uh, because of lack of educational facilities in their cities town or maybe their villages then lack of security political disturbances were there conflicts were there so people were living some people were also migrating on a short term basis for better opportunities of recreational and health care facilities okay children now today we start with the impact of migration and migration affects both the areas of origin let us focus on the impact of migration okay children large number of people have now there is migration impact of migration demographic consequences we come to migration leads to unbalanced demographic distribution of population within the country only the able to bodied young people migrate from villages to city or to other countries in search of jobs or the rest of the family members stay back this leads to serious imbalance in age and sex ratio particularly in areas of high out migration now children what happens is that when the younger people of the families are leaving their families and going out for work to some other village or city they are or maybe some other country now what is happening the rest of the families stay back 
and the rest of the family is comprises of the senior citizens maybe children so the youth of the family they are leaving and migrating somewhere else so this causes demographic disturbance imbalance in the age and sex ratio only children are there and the senior citizen whereas the youth is not there as such there is imbalance now this has happened in places like uttarakhand rajasthan mahara madhya pradesh and eastern maharashtra similar imbalances are to be seen in the recipient states also so the recipient states the ones which are receiving them they can also find such imbalance where the youth are more there are more portion of youth whereas the children and the senior citizen becomes less next we come to the social consequences now migration results in the interaction between varied cultures and leads to their diffusion you can see people migrating to a place for example we take the uh, city of mumbai and we find that laborers or workers have not come from one area but from varied area throughout the country they have come and resided there now this leads to a diffusion there a cultural diffusion too many cultures uh, cultures together there may they may be sick uh, people coming the sikhs are coming from punjab there may be the bengals the laborers are coming from bengal the upites are coming from up so this there is a diverse cultural interaction between them the receiving areas of the receiving areas of receive people belong to different cultures through migration which leads to cultural interaction and enrichment so it might lead to cultural interaction and enrichment in the historic times india received migrants belonging to different cultural groups which led to intermixing of one culture with the other however coming together of people belonging to different cultures lead to cultural conflicts in certain cases now in one place there will be intermixing of one culture with the other on the other place there might be cultural due to difference in culture cultural conflicts may also occur now apart from this family breakdown fragmentation of the social networks psychological stress or other negative impacts of migration the emotional impact is not just limited to migrants themselves but also the family left behind especially the poorer households where the whole family cannot afford to emigrate together they emigrate one member at a time resulted in an eroded family structure and relationships so the, in the poorer households the whole family cannot emigrate so one by one as they emigrate what happened broken families are there eroded families uh, relationships are broken uh, and things like that so there is always negative consequences of are also there of for migration most internal migration here children most internal as well as international migrants held up in the cities of developing countries putting enormous pressure on the limited resources so the in the developing countries what happened because of the internal migration and inter international migrations the there is too much of pressure on the limited resources and due to this overpouring of people in the older cities like mumbai kanpur delhi faces the problems of housing leading to living in slums so housing is a very important problem people are not getting homes that and they lead to living in slum areas and which further causes more problems now we come to the economic consequences 
migration of people just as international trade has a direct impact both on the sending and the receiving country the receiving country gains as immigration increases the supply of labor and increases employment production and thus national income so we have studied about this when we were doing the brain drain so the receiving country is maybe at a gain as it is getting uh, its labor the supply of laborers are increasing it is increasing employment production is increasing and their national income is also increasing but there are adverse effects of immigration which includes loss of jobs for the locals heavy burden on the natural resources and public services so their own local local youth is not getting jobs and the natural resources also there is heavy burden on it then high skilled emigration or the so called brain drain can imply a loss for the public resources for the sending country now the sending country e implies a great loss when it is sending its high skilled emigrants now the sending country gains through migrants as they transfer their earning to the home country in the form of foreign exchange but if these emigrants are transferring the earnings to the home country then it may be a gain for the sending country because they are getting the money in the form of foreign exchange but the sending country loses due to reduction in skilled workforce which is critical for the productivity and economic growth so they are at a loss also when they are sending their skilled workers to other countries because their productivity and economic growth is at a loss so this was the chapter on migration and we come to the questions i suppose you have done i asked you you can do all these short answers on your own very easy hmm? a part for the b part like the following questions in detail yeah and analyze the first one we can discuss these analyze the problem of brain drain so for this brain drain please open to page number page number 8 i suppose no it's page number 35 page number 35 and the this is the brain drain and we are going to give our answer from this paragraph the brain drain is the migration of skilled workers no need to give the definition they have asked the problem which is caused uh, the analyze the problem which is caused by migration now the trained and the skilled professionals are needed in every part of the world however better standards of living and quality of life higher salaries access to advanced technologies and more stable political conditions in the developed countries attract talent from the less developed countries the majority of the migrant immigration is from the developing to the developed countries this is growing concerned worldwide because of its impact on the developing countries these countries have invested in their education and training of the young health professionals this translates into a loss of considerable resources when these country people migrate with direct benefit occurring to the recipient states whereas the cost of educating and training is borne by the home country now this you can write in points what happens why the what is the loss uh, that is incurred by the Uh, by the home country because of the brain drain mm, please write this in points we come to the next question 
and our next question is you have to discuss state the four features of the internal migration so you have to write about the four features and the four features of the internal migration is rural to rural just in two lines you have to explain rural to rural these are the four points which needs to be explained in two lines each about rural to rural migration that people move from one village to the other and marriage seasonality of work lack of work etc are some of the factors responsible for it next is rural to urban and there you write that in this people migrate from the rural areas to towns or metro cities and the push and the pull factors are very much uh, effective in rural to urban migration then urban to urban uh, under this people migrate from the small towns to the less facility with less facilities to larger towns or metros with more facilities and this causes also a lot of problem then urban to rural in such movement takes place or at the advanced stage of urbanization when the urban centers are characterized by over congestion haphazard growth and high cost of living okay so this was your second question now your third question most of the studies indicate migration is primarily motivated by economic factors and again we come back to this page economic factor and here you write down why the economic fact factor is important because for migration because in developing country low agricultural income unemployment underemployment lack of alternative resources of income are considered as basic factors for pushing the migrants towards the developed areas then opportunities for better employment higher wages facilities better working conditions are attractive amenities for pull factors of an area introduction of capital in intensive methods of production of agricultural sectors mechanization of certain processes have reduced the labor requirement in rural areas the non availability of alternative resources of income in the rural areas have forced is also an important factor for migration so for all these factors what is happening economic factor uh, is important as the cause for migration okay next so these are the three questions that we have discussed today and we will do the rest in our next session till then you do this work in your i hope you will do all this short answers also in your interleaved copy as in well you will start doing the answer in detail in your copies so till then stay at home and stay safe goodbye